Longtime General Hospital fans know that both Steve Burton and Ingo Radmacher had been forced out of the show. The reason is because ABC requires each member of the crew to be fully vaccinated. But these two people did not comply with the regulations. The situation of the COVID-19 epidemic is quite complicated. So the new station requires everyone in the film crew to be fully vaccinated. But both Burton and Radmacher want to keep their opinions private and believe their right to privacy should be respected. Radmacher even made matters worse by suing Disney for violating constitutional rights. Not stopping there, he also tried to spread the news that the vaccine did not work when it was really helpful in preventing the symptoms of the disease. Burton continues to share his life on Instagram for fans to follow, staying as optimistic as possible despite leaving the show. Most of Burton's status lines revolve around health issues because of the complicated disease situation. Burton said, you have a life, live it, you have a body, exercise it, you have a mind, control it. You have a soul, feed it, self-discipline in these areas is self-love. Every day is a new day to make a change, don't settle, you have a life, make use of it. Surely everyone knows that the actor Martinez, who was extremely successful with the role of Cruz Castillo on NBC television, he also appeared on General Hospital and worked alongside Burton when he was playing Roy DeLuca. Martinez also follows Burton on social media, and after seeing Burton's status, he left a long and detailed reply. In Martin's opinion, he wanted to express his feelings for those who refused to receive vaccines like Burton and the reason why the disease was becoming increasingly difficult to control. Martin said Burton has the right to choose what he should do or not, but should not expose himself to becoming an agent of harm and influence on other citizens. It is impossible to predict what the future will hold and will the current complete, extremely complicated epidemic situation, we must be even more careful with our actions. Like at first, everyone took the disease lightly, but now COVID is still lingering and causing an increasingly large number of deaths, especially for those who have not been vaccinated. Martinez knows Burton is in favor of individual liberties, but that can't be blamed on those who want you to be safe. It is a guarantee for both individuals in particular and the community in general. In fact, Martina, Martinez also uses extremely gentle but convincing words to criticize Burton or those who are supporting Burton. While Burton is still carefree, people like Martinez have the desperately hope that the new variant of COVID-19 will not have more severe effects. Because it has caused so much grief to our people, the epidemic has claimed many lives of relatives and friends. Even those very close to us, Burton is not wrong that he stands his ground, but if he tried to spread this more, it would turn into another annoying issue.